Hello, tonight we're with CNN News with the topic of Stitches for All with tonight with Juan and Chris. Today we're going to bring out the lawyers, Coronel Ortiz and Coronel Smith. <laughs> Welcome to CNN News, I'm Juan. And I'm Chris. With a topic of Dream Act for the military, this is Coronel Ortiz and Coronel lawyer. Smith. The question for them is, why do you want immigrants in the military? Oh, um, why do we want immigrants in the military? Well, we just don't want immigrants, we just want people in the military in general. But it would be a good opportunity for immigrants to join the military to get a uh, right passage to citizenship and to a, a higher education than high school. How would you describe the DREAM Act? The DREAM Act is a program which it helps immigrant students achieve a higher education and also has the opportunity to join the armed forces and serve their country. Um, why is the military a good option for undocumented students? It is, it is a good op uh, opportunity for undocumented students, but not just them, but everyone else. That's what we want to make clear. But undocumented students um, that come here don't have, you know, it's harder for them to get citizenship. It will take a longer time, and you know they don't. They need financial aid, which they can't get because they don't. They're not a citizen. So you know they, we'll pay for their education. So we're giving them a better life and a bigger opportunity to have a. So you're saying if you serve the military, they're going to help you out at the end? Yes, the, the military is going to help you out because right when you step onto boot camp, we're already helping you out. Okay. And if the military isn't there, imagine their lives with no higher education, no money to pay. So the military will benefit them and the future. What do you think of the Chief Act and the Dream Act? I think the Dream Act will benefit more than immigrants and their path to citizenship because it will give them permanent residency rather than temporary work permit and if they join the military it will speed the process up and they will be citizens in less than a year. So they're saying if the Dream Act passes will more people join the military? We really uh, tried, like, a lot more like, people will join the military um, because stuff, the benefits they offer and, and asking, who like, wouldn't want to serve their country too, but, like, the, no, and yeah, well, and the benefits will fault. help yeah, it's not your the country, immigrants like, achieve their dreams. What do you have to say to those young adults that don't have citizenship but they want to be enrolled in the military? Well, I'll tell them to follow the qualifications in joining the military so they can be citizens and, yeah. Okay, thank you. Try right, this CNN News. Thank you very much.
Right now in CNN News, welcome back. I am Juan. And I'm Chris. And this is Captain Lee. <laughs> and this is Captain General King. And the first question for the blogger is How many non citizens served in the armed force in the year 2006? Uh, based on the article 2000, uh, 2006, uh, there are about like 40,000 like, non citizens who served in the military. So, the U.S. military is focused on defending this country by what? The U.S. military is focused on defending the country by like winning a world pair. Like to be able to win a world, we have to like, we must like consist in the recruitment recruitment The same, recruit it. Recruit the people, like take them to war so you can find more. Yeah. What you're saying? And thank you very much for watching the show. This is Chris. And I'm Juan. Thank you very much.